are here at InnoTrends trade show in Berlin with Industrial Ethernet Book Magazine to find out about the latest trends in communication networks for the train sector. We talked to a number of experts here at the show to learn what the hot trends are, what are the upcoming technologies to expect in the future of mobility. before about how reliable red lion switches and other devices are, but what we're really focusing at this Intertrans is getting data from other devices back to a, a collector and then getting the data either up to the cloud where it can be uh, analyzed or back to a, a display. Red Lion really has some unique uh, technology in that we support up to 30 or 300 protocols and, and can take data in we're basically vendor agnostic. So we take data in, convert it into a common protocol, can put it in or in this device where it can be data log, sent up to a cloud either once a day or dynamically, and also take it back and display it right there with diagnostic information on site. So we're not only providing very reliable networking capability, our automation products is managing protocol conversion and conveyance up to our a gateway and then going up to the cloud. So trying to maximize overall uptime. That's the key. We see that uh, there is more and more demand for uh, more benches within uh, the train communication network because we see that there is uh, more and more data that needs to be transferred within the train to the head unit and for that you need for sure the connectivity towards the train backbone but also the possibility to transfer all data over the track, uh, train backbone to the different uh, locations where they are stored or consumed and uh, we uh, from Moxa side are following the trend uh, by introducing some new products which have uh, the uh, 10 gigabit uh, train backbone uh, implemented but also we offering specifically for uh, trains where you have not too much space actually left this new product here which allows you to connect even one gigabit and devices like cameras like uh, displays in order to have that uh, sufficiently transferred and then also stored uh, in the train itself. Here for the new trend I can show you the RST2228 and uh, you can have it in a P version that means PoE so you have power over internet. This is a device you have modulars with copper fiber optic FFP module and also in full PoE. So that allowed you can connect cameras uh, with PoE or measurement uh, equipment what you want completely here with 200 uh, watts. product is purpose built for industrial customers. We believe that industrial customers deserve their dedicated equipment. First of all, it's about the hardware. The hardware needs to be able to perform in their stringent and, and harsh environments. Secondly, the equipment is also featuring, let's say, the optimized version of the MPLS protocol, which is called MPLS TP, to transport in a safe and reliable way multiple services over the same telecommunication network. So we have done that in a way 
that it's very easy to manage. So people who are currently managing operational uh, environments, operational applications, they can also manage our equipment in a very easy way, thanks to a very intuitive and simply implemented uh, network management system. It gives you a visual representation of the network and it gives you also very logical wizards to configure services, to configure tunnels and to basically manage the whole network at, at their fingertips. So what we see here is a possibility to transmit sensor signals typically here temperature sensor signals from a gearbox, from a wheel set of a boogie into the train wireless. So what we have here are our RFID sensor transponders, battery free, so everything is powered up via this antenna with an electromagnetic wave via energy harvesting. Those transponders are connected wired to a sensor, so the sensor is normally located here on the on the on the bearings on the gearbox of the of the wheel set, and we are detecting the temperature, which is going via the wire into the transponder, wireless to the antenna, which is under the train outside, to an RFID reader, which we see here, our new Mika-based RFID reader. Inside this reader. All the signals are translated into an Ethernet signal and can be transmitted multiple signals to Ethernet-based to the control system or maybe with an uplink to, to the cloud.